Okay, here we are, round three against Corn Thirty Four. He's playing a similar deck, a Gush uh, Tendrils build. He won the die roll, and our opening hand uh, is it's okay. Um, it's not great, but I think I think we'll keep this. A demonic tutor makes me want to keep. We'll see what happens. So looking at Korn's deck, basically really the only thing we need to worry about is a, a Force of Will. <clears throat> it looks like he's got a Sol Ring himself. Alright, let's we'll see what we draw for our turn. Oh, Tinker is interesting. Yes, it is. Well, I'm going to go ahead and play the Sol Ring so that I can tinker next turn. Well, that's unfortunate. Good game. All right, so that didn't work out in our favor at all. Okay. Well, let's see here. Uh, in terms of the sideboard, he's got uh, some Lee Lines, Graft Digger's Cage to bring in. Um, I don't really see a reason to change much here. Um, I think I want to bring in the Chain of Vapors, though. And what I'll take out is probably... Uh, Let's see here. If I take out I take out a thought seize and the tendrils, maybe that'll be enough. We'll go with this. All right. This hand is much better. I got turn 1 necropotence. I don't think there's any reason to not keep this. It's a pretty good hand. First things first, you gotta crack it for mana. <clears throat> and we'll play both of these. And we'll draw a few cards here. One, so it's three, four. Five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll draw eight cards. Or draw up to eight cards, I should say. <coughs> See, we got a Dark Confidant, Swamp, Thoughtseize, Polluted Delta, Hercules Recall, and another land. Oh, that's too bad. So, let's get rid of one of these. And we'll pass the turn.
Let's see, Dark Confidant maybe? Hmm, Dark Ritual, that's not good. You're kidding me. Tinker again? Oh, gosh. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say, if you could turn one Tinker in both games, that would have been uh, that would have been pretty pretty impressive. All right. So, unfortunately, uh, we didn't draw into anything useful for us. Uh, but we do get to uh, double duress and thought seize. Ooh. Wow, that's very, very key there. That worked out in our favor quite well, actually. Um, and there's no need to uh, thought seize again, so. Um, actually, no, I think I will hold off and pass the. T well, I gotta draw some cards here first. Two. Three, four, five, and go from here. See what we get. Land, Time Vault, Flooded Strand, Blade Steel Colossus, Infernal Tutor. Okay, let's get rid of Dark Confidant and uh, Bloodstained Mire. And a flooded strand. So I think we will have enough to go off next turn. We've got a Hercules recall where we can buy back our uh, Lion's Eye Diamond and Lotus Petal. So he got himself a brainstorm. That's a pretty good top deck. What did he get? Another brainstorm? No. And another gush, okay. It looks like he doesn't have anything. All right, I think we do have enough to go off here. So let's play a land. Uh, we can... Um, Let's go ahead and thought seize just to make sure that he doesn't draw into a counter spell and he didn't. So we'll get rid of that mana crypt and I think it's time to go to the races here. So let's see what is our plan of action here. So let's yeah actually I don't have enough ma mana to Hercules recall so if I Let's see, if I Infernal Tutor, I've only cast one spell. If I Infernal Tutor for... be two, three, four, five... Um, yeah, it's not going to be enough. I th but I think... I think we want to have to go for it. So we'll add triple black. And let's go grab ourselves Yogmoth's Will. We'll pay for Yogmoth's Will. We will add a black mana to our mana pool. 
cast dark ritual cast lion's eye diamond well cast infernal tutor we'll go grab our tendrils of agony and we will storm I think we got enough No, I didn't. Well, I do have enough to uh, feel my necropotence again, at least. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we have to discard, so let's go ahead and discard. Uh, let's discard the one of the lotus petals. So we didn't have enough to go off. We dropped them to four. So let's go ahead and play a Bob and put him oh, put him at dead next turn if he can't top deck an answer. And it looks like we managed to survive so long as we don't pull off anything bad. I don't think either situation we will die to. So looks like we pulled that one out. So that's uh, one and one in the pivotal game three here. I don't see much reason to change anything here. So, I mean, I could bring in Lee Line of the Void to prevent him from going off. Maybe, maybe I do that. Maybe I bring in these Lee Lines. Take out a Chromox. Take out. Uh, let's see. Take out Mind's Desire. Take out Dark Confidant and take out uh, and take out a Brainstorm. And we got a pretty optimal hand here. Oh, he's got a Leeline himself. Good thing I've got uh, Tinker in my hand here. All right, so the plan of action is to Tinker in a Blight Steel. which I think we can do right here. Um, okay. Let's go ahead and cast our Lotus Petal. Um, let's 
you know what, I'm going to play the Sol Ring now with Voltaic Key. And this should actually not, I think, I think I'm going to pass the turn. I just don't want to get blown out by a force of will. If I get blown out by a force of will, um, it's going to be hard to win this game. All right, we draw Bloodstained Mire. That's fine. Let's thought seize. And he had the force of will. Interesting. Not bad. I have to say that's not bad at all. Okay, Tinker for... Um, actually, I think Tinker for Time Vault might be the better solution right now. Because I can go off. Let's see, he's going to he's gonna gush. I don't know what he's going to gush into. And won the game. Alright, so we are on to round four. Thanks for watching.